No, no, no. We must get this right before our performance. Sir Clauser. Lady Silver. <laughs> Sorry. Probably not the best idea to sneak up on someone juggling knives. Especially sneaking up on one rehearsing for their debut performance in Skingrad. I was making my way to Skingrad from Anvil. The gold road was stunning until, bam, I'm in this dense jungle. Then, I spotted a pig surrounded by giant bugs. I rescued her. Not long after, ah, a badger caught in vines. I agree, but the Daggerfall nobles never appreciated my talents, and the bright lights of Skingrad beckon. Lady Sawera and Sir Klauser appreciate me, <laughs> and I hope the fabulous people of West Weald will as well. Yes, we three are the Burning Wild Band, because I found these two in the wild, and, well, I'm a bit singed myself around the edges. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. We'll perform in Skingrad soon before Count Calantius himself. You can be my first critic. First off, I need to determine what I should be doing. Then we can figure out the assignments for Lady Sawera, my pig, and Sir Klauser, the badger. Lend me a critical eye and tell me what you think works best. One option is that I dazzle folks with my sword juggling. It's a big crowd pleaser, but I've noticed it makes the animals nervous. The other option is I dance, and dance, and dance. Not as exciting as swords, but the animals enjoy it more. Well, you should dance. All right, let me begin. This dance took me weeks to master. Isn't it stunning? Now, time to refine Lady Sawera's performance. Come speak to me. Next, we have to figure out what our precious Lady Sawera is doing. So, Lady Sawera has been trained to walk in elegant circles around Sir Klauser and me. The question is, should she start in the front or in the rear? Sounds good. All right, Lady Sawera, begin your routine from the front. And finally, Sir Klauser takes his cue. Please, tell me your thoughts. Finally, it's Sir Klauser's turn. For his part of the performance, he remains in place as I perform around him. He can either pretend to be asleep, or he can be more active, pretending to eat bugs from a tree. Which do you think is more tantalizing? <laughs> he should pretend to sleep. He should be uh, more active. Then it shall be so. Sir Klauser, show us your fabulous acting ability. Now this will be wonderful. Let us redouble our efforts and practice fervently now. Thank you for all your advice, friend. Get evanished. It seems Mizik has been fooled by a four-legged escape artist. Ah, greetings, traveler. Perhaps you can help Mizik in his search? Careful now. A cunning and foul beast has made off with an important document and played Mizik for a fool. Perhaps you can help retrieve it? <laughs> cunning and foul beast, dog. Ah, a wonderful idea from dear Aquilia. This one fears there is more afoot to Lady Weatherly's death. But our first clue is currently in the jowls of a dog. A hairy, stinky thing. Uh, Betu is the beast's name, though this one calls him Headache. Uh, oh, yes. Helping with the will is a cover. Uh, not only was her death sudden and mysterious, but now her fortune is missing and her long-lost son has returned. Got many threads for one's claws to get tangled in. Yes, yes. 
Aquilia wishes the question of inheritance be conclusively answered before it becomes fodder for the gossips. Now, dear Aid, we must find Betu. This one has already found his tracks. Let us crouch down and follow his trail. Okay, so we can follow Peto's tracks. And they are highlighted when I crouch. Okay, maybe maybe the dog is a bit of a nuisance. Get it together, Edric. You're a mess. What's that? Music hears voices. Let us listen in. Our dear lady is dead. And you still don't believe me. Men talk to the investigator. Don't pull me into this. Can we even trust him? I don't want to be labeled a suspect. Better to talk to an investigator than a gardener, Edric. Not a gardener. A friend. You do well to leave, Otho. And take Betu with you. I don't know what you're playing at. But you were a fool to come here. There's Lady Pelena and her husband Uriel, our once long lost son. Be angry all you want, dear wife, but don't cause a scene. I'm here to stay. Fine. Then you can help deal with your cousin and that inane investigator. Now where could that mangy dog have gotten off to? Here, here it is. Not now, Betu. Away with you. With the will secured, let us speak with Edric. Betu's always been an incorrigible sort. Best not to let him walk all over you. Uh, apologies. I should introduce myself. My name is Edric Bresner. I was Lady Weatherly's cook. Terrible thing, her death. Beyond compare. Yes, terribly so. I've been in her employ for what feels like ages, which is why I hope you'll listen when I say you must leave the estate. I fear what happened to our dear lady could happen to you. Chefs are privy to more than just their employer's favorite dishes. Lady Weatherly hasn't been the same since her son's disappearance and... I'm not the only one to take notice. Fruit flies buzz around the sweetest fruit, after all. Mm, I can't say any more. I only came to pay my respects and to leave this place behind. If I were you, I would stay far away from that manor before that investigator digs up something horrible. It seems the cook knows more than he is willing to let on. How very curious. Mizik will have to make note of this. At least this confirms that the residents of the estate are keeping their secrets close to their chests. Yes, of course. Along with the cook, there's Otho Florius, the gardener. Then, of course, Lady Weatherly's missing son himself, Uriel, back from the dead. And his wife, Helena, who has long lived at the estate with Lady Weatherly. Convenient, yes? Many questions surround Uriel's sudden return, and it should be noted that Pelena seems none too pleased about it. Mizik has of course investigated a number of failed marriages, but this seems different. Ah, what of the will? Uh, feels like a, like a case of Edward Guerre from, from real, real life. Yeah, excellent. 16th century. Uh, the seal is still intact. We should return to the manor now that we've secured the will. I am certain our roosting vultures are keen to hear what it has to say. Meet Mizik by the manor house when you are ready to meet the others. I hope Betu's return means you retrieved the will, Mizik? Yes, the will is returned and intact, thanks to my assistant. Well, let's get this over with. Read it aloud, Mizik. Yes, of course. Weatherly's walls hide a glittering secret, safely guarded by four loyal paws. Do not worry. 
Mizik and his assistant will get to the bottom of this. I'm sorry. Is that a riddle? <laughs> this must be some sort of joke. There he is. My faithful friend. Oh! Strange. Betu doesn't seem too fond of you, cousin. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm sure Betu just needs time to remember me. Isn't that right, boy? Feel free to speak with the others. But join me in the study when you are ready. The estate feels hollow now, without her. And apologies for my appearance. I needed some liquid courage to walk the halls of this corpse. I hope you find who did this. She did not deserve what happened to her. Closer than most staff are with their lords and ladies, I reckon. I'd worked for her since before young Uriel had even been born. <sighs> Feels like a lifetime ago. More memories to drown, I suppose. Good doogie. I'm Otho, the gardener. Betu must like you if he followed you back. He's a good judge of character, you know. Lady Weatherly loved him dearly. I worry about what will become of him when all is said and done. Edric is making a bit of a fool of himself. It pains me to see him this way. I assure you, he's never acted like this before. Perhaps it'd be better if you asked him. He's had a rough go of it. It seems I was right to ask for your help. Despite the mysterious contents of the will, this is the most progress we've made all day. I trust you and Mizik will see things through, and we can proceed with this unpleasant business. Fairly, though I wish I had made more of an effort to visit. I spent many summers here when I was younger, but school and then my position kept me away for far too long. She was kind, generous. Her loss outweighs any treasure we might find. All this waiting, and for what? A riddle! It's absurd! The sooner you and Mizik solve this riddle, the sooner our family can move on from this nonsense. To think we haven't even had a chance to celebrate Uriel's return. How embarrassing. You overheard that. Tensions have been high since his mother's passing. There are certain adjustments we've both had to make. Nothing some restful sleep can't solve. Interesting. I didn't realize Mizik had an assistant. A pleasure to meet you. I hope, despite the circumstances, you will find time to enjoy the estate grounds. It's beautiful this time of year. A small blessing while we grieve. Happy doesn't do the feeling justice. Ecstatic, overjoyed, yet still burdened by mother's passing and the horrors of battle. But being surrounded by loved ones has been a major boon. Uh -huh. I'm I'm not too sure. Why would Lady Weatherly leave a riddle in her will? Perhaps you can make sense of it. <sighs> Following the determination of my remaining wealth and holdings upon the occurrence of my death, I trusted him receive but will understand. Weatherly's was had a glittering secret, safely guarded by four loyal paws. Could the four paws mean Betu? They certainly are not Mizik's. Perhaps we can find a clue here in her study. A note picking up from behind the painting. I know how hard it will be to be a letter with no signature. But I fear my for my life as much as I fear yours. To any your trust I offer you this insect and compare deep into the candid rose petals. Only someone who cares for you dearly would know your favorite tea. He's writing this letter because traitor seems behind your back. Pains me to say this, but a woman 
scared maybe he had a hand in murdering your son. We must meet so, as soon as possible. I fear we haven't much time. It seems Lady Weatherly led her own investigation into her son's death. It would seem so. Cook has started following me about the grounds. I believe it's time we let the cook go. It seems Pelena made her feelings about the cook quite clear to Lady Weatherly. Let Mizik see the note. Ah, an anonymous letter warning Lady Weatherly of a traitor. This one wonders if they were able to meet before her death. It paints a disturbing picture of her final moments. Mizik was told that Lady Weatherly died alone in her library. But could she have met with this stranger only to become their victim? We must question the family, but do not mention the note. Whether this note was sent by the killer or a kind soul close to Lady Weatherly, it confirms one thing, that there is indeed a traitor among us. And with this letter, Mizik can do what he does best. Play cat and mouse. Of course. If you are looking for the stranger who calls himself Uriel, he went to walk the estate grounds with Pelena, and not a moment too soon. I was growing tired of their bickering. Of course, though I doubt I'd be of much help. I was tending to affairs in High Isle when I learned of my aunt's death. As her last living blood relative, I saw fit to see to her will. Oh, we saw the until my cousins can We saw her at the High Isle. Oh, as I understand it, she fell from her library's ladder while reaching for a book. If she had kept a modest staff on hand, perhaps she could have been saved. But by the time she was found, she had passed. I believe it was one of the estate's remaining workers. Helena would know more. She was here when it happened. Unlike Uriel. I know grief can cloud one's judgment, but is she not at all suspicious of Uriel's story? I haven't seen Uriel since we were teens, before I was sent to boarding school. And then he left to fight in Varen's Revolt, six years ago. He might share a passing resemblance, even with his scar, but I don't believe he's really Uriel. So it Edward Guerre in other hands. Frustratingly no. But my aunt spent countless coins searching for Uriel. Even if his story is true and he lost his memory, she would have found him. I fear Uriel was lost to us in the revolt. And this man is wearing our grief like a disguise. So six years ago. So five hundred and seventy was the Yuri, um, parents rebellion lasted to 77 so if we want to uh, count we can we can extend this to the 8083 uh, Elder Scrolls online base game happened in 82 so the history hasn't moved a lot that's the thing since his arrival Pelena has been both overjoyed and furious. I suppose his return after so long could explain her mixed emotions, but I think she's hiding something. They share terse whispers constantly. If Aquilia was Lady Weatherly's last living heir, could she have expected to receive the missing fortune? A motive, perhaps. Uh -huh. 
Perhaps. How foolish of you to think that I would just disappear. My love, the investigator returns. We'll continue our discussion later. Apologies. Recent events have been overwhelming, to say the least. I needed some fresh air, and my dear Uriel saw fit to join me. Is there anything I can help you with? No, I was not. Lady Weatherly was kind enough to let me live on the estate when Uriel went off to fight, but I often spend my mornings walking through the woods. A ritual that has helped ever since Uriel's death. A absence, I mean. <laughs> Otho Florius, the gardener. Fro the one Freudian sleep. He was the only one home at the time. Ever since I fired that horrible cook, Otho's been the only remaining staff member tending to the estate. Yes, I caught Edric snooping around my private quarters. Terrible thing, having one's privacy encroached upon. I told him to never return or I'd have Betu chase him out. I admit, I did enjoy striking fear into that sad little man. Well enough. He's known me since my courtship years with Uriel. He causes his fair share of mischief, but Lady Weatherly could never bring herself to get rid of him. After all, Betu was her last connection to Uriel. The dog has a penchant for stealing what isn't his. I usually ask our gardener to wrangle him, but as you can see, he hasn't done a very good job. Of course, now that Lady Weatherly has passed, we can consider alternatives. Go on then, ask me how I returned. It's the only question anyone seems to have for me. Uriel Weatherly, back from the dead. It's laughable. Six years ago, I left to fight in Varen's Revolt. I was gravely wounded and left for dead, and would have died, had a caravan of Khajiit not stumbled upon me and taken pity. The Khajiit could heal my wounds, but not my memories. They were lost. TV Bandari, right? Every single one. I rode with the caravan until I was fully healed. It wasn't until we rode into Skingrad that the first slivers of my past began to return. By the time I remembered my name and where I lived, it was too late. Mother was dead. Some things, yes. But there are still heavy clouds. For instance, it's clear Mother's riddle was meant for me, but I can't make sense of it. I can only hope your talented investigative skills solve this mystery. I fear Aquilia has merely succumbed to her own grief, chasing phantasms with bloody daggers. My mother was a wonderful woman who died a simple death. It is sad, but common. You come to understand this when you've been to war. Interesting. From what I've been told, my mother lived her final years grieving in isolation. My dear wife, Pelena, did her best to keep her company. But my mother had no friends or visitors. Aside from the hired help, of course. So, I suppose if Pelena um, arranged that Uriel would be killed, he lost his memory, now he came back. And, but what are they arguing about? Something doesn't fit here. All this talk of suspects when the woman simply fell. Though I suppose Thunderboots would not be here if the death weren't suspicious. Speak with the staff yourself if you see fit. Speak to him next. There you go, Betu. Baths aren't so bad. Apologies for Betu's earlier mischief. I hope he didn't damage the will. He's normally better behaved, but the lady's passing has certainly got him on edge. Yes, 
I had taken over kitchen duties while Edric was away. I was restocking the pantry after returning from the market when I heard a loud crashing noise from the library. I thought Betu might have knocked something over in the library, but when I went to check, the door was blocked by something heavy. By the time I wedged myself through, it was too late. Yes, she was lying on the floor, motionless. One of the ladders had fallen and there were books scattered all around. I can take you to see the library. Everything is as I found it. No. Lady Weatherly was the only one in the library. Which is odd, now that I think about it. Betu is usually plastered to the lady's side, but he wasn't in the library. He was shut up in Pelina's room. I wonder why she would have put him there. I wonder. Well, Pelina keeps going on about Edric, our cook. She says he was acting suspiciously leading up to her death. But for what it's worth, I find him to be kind. He may be able to shed more light on that situation himself. You won't learn anything from those scheming charlatans, that's for sure. Lost memories, please. Children can weave better stories than that drivel. I'll say it again, stranger. You should leave this place. Nothing but rotten memories. No. Lady Pelina had all but run me out by then. Lady Weatherly couldn't bring herself to fire me, but... I thought some time away would do us all some good. Worst decision of my life, I tell you that. It's my own fault, honestly. Something always felt off to me about Lady Pelina. She never seemed too torn up about Uriel's death. I was convinced she was hiding something, but turns out my chef's paunch doesn't make for being stealthy. She caught me going through her things. A terrible thing, I know, but I don't regret it. Some things deserve to be brought to light, you'll see. Investigate the library. So, this was blocked with something. We must study the scene carefully. Look for anything out of place. Everything is out of place. Lots of books around. Was that window already broken? But no. It was definitely intact before Lady Weatherly's death. Something has broken the glass. Perhaps this was an escape route. You are certain this is where you found her body? Yes. I'll never forget the sight of her lying there. Quite the mess for a simple fall, don't you think? No blood, a broken window, and a fractured statue with no explanation as to how it was damaged. Music feels that there is something just out of reach of this one's claws. But what could it be? The details don't add up. Investigations always require some stretch of the imagination, but to make sense of this crime scene would be to dream up a work of fantasy. Perhaps the fantasy is the clue. Only a panicked hand could make such messy brushstrokes. Could Otho's arrival from the market have startled the suspect, leading them to block the door and escape out of the broken window? But then why create such an elaborate scene? A fall is simple enough. A tidy portrait. We should continue to investigate this broken window. Perhaps we can find a trail on the other side. I would never hurt Lady Weatherly. Until the investigation is complete, everyone is a suspect. It was I, Loya Cook, Edric, who killed the lady with her lee. A confession? And a flowery one at that? Music isn't sure what to make of this. Tea? This one smells ginger. Hibiscus, 
and something else. Something sickly. Poison tankard. Edric's tankard. There seems to be a suspicious residue inside. So this is the memorial Lady Weatherly built for her son. Mizzix's snout wrinkles at the stench of both fresh and old death. Betu led us to the memorial of the lost Uriel Weatherly, and now we find the cook freshly poisoned. Let this one see the confession letter. Why would Edric lead us to Uriel's memorial and then kill himself? And earlier, the cook warned us of some mysterious danger. Could he have met the fate he was trying to save us from? Too many bodies and cryptic messages for this one's liking. The note says that Edric served Lady Weatherly poison tea the day she died, but the cook had already left the grounds. Otho confirmed that himself. And this letter says that Pelena was present for tea, but she said she was out all morning. A good question, but the memorial may be a greater clue. Lady Weatherly had gone to great lengths to find her son, but was certain of his death to raise this memorial. Our Uriel may well be an imposter, but do not give away our upper hand. Okay. We know the real Uriel went to fight in Varen's revolt, and that Lady Weatherly spent a fortune to find his body. We also know from the note find. in the Lady's study that Pelena was against looking into his death. Yes, our masquerading rogue. The cook was certain that he was an imposter, but what about the others? Aquilia has her suspicions, but shouldn't Pelena have known? Why hasn't she raised alarm bells and told the others? And he was the only one who could have ended the imposter's ruse. But then there is Edric's confession. Could it be a forgery to throw us off the trail? Or a convenient end to our investigation? I sense another hasty painting is before us. We should question the imposter, but we mustn't let on that we know his gambit. I also have my reservations about the once and again widowed Pelena. If anyone else was aware of his ruse, it would be her. So why hasn't she said anything? Steady yourself as we approach the imposter, Uriel. This ruse may not be his only crime. It's increasingly likely that he killed Edric to keep his secret. What is with all the questions, cousin? Aren't you happy to see me? There's our imposter. Talk to him, friend. Our intrepid investigators! Pelin and I were just arguing over what to do with my mother's estate. Marriage squabbles. Have you made progress with that mysterious riddle? I can fetch her if you'd like. She just went into the kitchen. The cook, you say? Well, as close as any young heir is with their staff. Now that I think about it, I always did find him strange. Always one for the shadows. I'm glad Pelena saw fit to fire him. I only wish I were here to do it myself. Dead? What a ghastly turn of events! Hold on. Another memory is coming back to me. Yes. The cook always had a secret love for my mother. Ah, you, you, you Was think. It grief that led him to kill himself. It must have been. You don't think he also killed mother? Oops. Oh, yes, of course. No, I must have gotten ahead of myself. Yes, that's it. All this death, I thought I left it behind on the battlefield, but it seems to have followed me home. Whether murderer or murdery, my heart goes out to Edric. Thank you, Uriel. That's all. We should speak to Pelena next, Traveler. There's been another murder? The killer could come for any one of us next. Nonsense. It's clear Edric was a troubled man who killed Lady Weatherly and took his own life. Maybe so. But I'm not leaving this room just yet. <laughs> okay. That's fine.
Let's talk Pelena. Because she, she's, she's definitely involved. Oh, Mizik. Do you have updates on your investigation? Mizik, traveler, how fares the investigation? With so much still left to speculation, I've found myself wandering the grounds trying to keep my hands busy. I hope to have things settled soon, for all our sakes. Um, hmm, good, I think. Edric, a murderer? I'm astonished. I guess I was right to be suspicious of him, but now I wish I'd had him jailed when I could have. What a travesty. At least now we have some closure and can focus on the missing fortune. She doesn't have a alibi. Well, the lady and I had intended to meet that morning, but it slipped my mind. If the tea was poisoned, wouldn't that make Otho the suspect? With Edric away, he would have been the one to brew the tea for Lady Weatherly. Hmm. I haven't the expertise, of course, to make such an accusation. But I do wonder. Otho and Edric have worked the estate for ages. Could they have felt entitled to a cut of the fortune? Useless speculation, perhaps, but the mind does wonder. Well, Butler is never, <laughs> never murderer. That's one of the Agatha, Agatha Christie's rules. Thank you, Pelina. We will Agatha Christie's. All lingering threats. Traveler, let's speak with the gardener next. Betu seems to have run off again. It's embarrassing, really. really. You'd think I'd be better at keeping a handle on him, but the dog is a free spirit. How are things? Made any progress since investigating the library? It had become one of my daily duties while Edric was away. I usually try to brew her a pot before I leave for the market. Apologies for not mentioning that earlier. My daily tasks have become innumerable. Yeah, because... Belena fired the chef. Edric is dead. I can't believe it. No, he... He'd never hurt Lady Weatherly. We were like a family. Wait. The recipe for the lady's tea is wrong. She's always found Ginger to be too overwhelming. Are, are you sure Edric wrote this? He couldn't have. He'd never make a mistake like that. And he was nowhere near the tea that morning. I started a pot for Lady Weatherly, and Pelena took over brewing it before I left. Okay, Pelena was here. Strange. She was most definitely here. She even offered to finish brewing it. I've been so busy as of late that I accepted her offer. It's not every day Pelina lends a hand around the estate. Wait, could Pelina have poisoned Lady Weatherly? She usually has it in her bedchambers, but the room's been locked this whole time. It seems in the commotion the key has been misplaced. Ah, it's likely her room has remained untouched since this whole tragedy began. Music recalls a gilded key revealed to us by Betu. If you already found the missing key, you may be able to unlock Lady Weatherly's bedchambers. Storm came in uh, just in the in right time. If the room has truly been locked this whole time, then not even the killer could re-enter. Let us see if we can find any clues among them. This scrap of fabric seems to have been torn from an expensive dress. Dearest Pelena. Late husband and I bore a striking resemblance, I'm sure you'll agree. Theop van Victor. If this letter is true, then Pelena played a role in Uriel's death. And this signature, 
Is this the name of our resident imposter? The residue on that teacup stinks with the same foul smell as the tainted tea we found with Edric's body. Music would like to hear Can it have a good nose and good sense of smell? And this is one of the few characters that actually demonstrates the good good smell. This note seems to confirm that Pelena Weatherly had her husband killed while he was away from the estate. Did Lady Weatherly read it first and confront Pelena with the truth? And what is Pelena left to do when cornered? Indeed, Pelena may have sensed an end to her cozy life. Killing Lady Weatherly before the impostor's arrival would secure her the fortune. She couldn't have known it was hidden, and now she can't reveal the imposter without outing herself. A poisoned cup of tea would bring unwanted attention to Lady Weatherly's death. Helena's only option would have been to stage the scene. A fall from a ladder at the lady's age? Hmm. Mizik can already imagine the solemn nods of acceptance. Ah, they must have brokered an agreement. Simplest choice. Ride out the storm of Lady Weatherly's death and come out the other side rich. But they've stumbled along the way thanks to a curious cook and a meddling music. It's time we confront our killers. He's... he's dead! Someone killed him! Petu? Petu, what's wrong, boy? Nobody leaves until Mizik finds out what happened. Traveler, there's something by the body. Quick! Edric. We have to help him. Something has made Betu terribly ill. I've never seen him so scared. If only I knew what was wrong, I could help him. Wait. I recognize this smell. Yes, I, I couldn't place it until now. We use this poison around the estate grounds. We've fallen into such disrepair that beasts have moved into the cellars. Betu knows better than to eat this. He was forced. Yes, in the pantry. I kept a tin of medicinal herbs for this very occasion. I could never forgive myself if I had a hand in hurting Betu. Please, hurry! Get the herbs! Quickly, friend. Search the pantry. Is it close we can save at least He's recovering. The herbs must be working. Wonderful news. Traveler, 
Let's discuss the notes you found with our imposter. Our imposter is dead, and our killer nearly succeeded in taking Betu's life as well. It is also not lost on Mizik as to who is missing from this room. The note you found with imposter Theophan's body. What does it say? The lengths the cook went to protect Lady Weatherly. This one hopes she knew how dearly she was loved by her staff. There is no doubt left in this one's mind as to who our killer is. She must be held accountable for her crimes. She can't have gone far. What is it? Where are you going? Quickly, follow that dog. <laughs> follow the dog. Plot, plot is thickening. I wonder if if she's a secret cultist or something. That wouldn't surprise me. Monsters in the cellar, of course. Away from me, you beast! wrong. That man was an imposter. If I hadn't gotten him first, then... Skeever. I've committed no wrong. That man was an imposter. If I hadn't gotten him first, then he would have killed me. I spit on Theophon Pictor's name for masquerading as my dear Uriel. How could you possibly say that? Whose inane rambling convinced you of such nonsensical drivel? Everyone is out to frame me! Theophan, Otho, even that damned Edric. Damn this rotting estate. Everything I did, everyone I killed, I did it for my own survival. I hope it crumbles into dust just like that crone and her son. I spit on their graves. Why would you hurt Betu? Because this whole family can rot for all I care. You've done great work today, Traveler. The air is heavy with death. But just like the sun, truth will come out. If only Lady Weatherly could see Pelena beaten at her own game. Pelena will be delivered to Skingrad. With the evidence in hand, she should face charges for the deaths of Uriel, Lady Weatherly, and our imposter. While it's possible Theophan killed Edric, I am certain she played a role. To think this one nearly forgot about our remaining golden thread. Aquilia is the only living relative. Mizik supposes she will inherit the fortune. Not that we found a single coin to give her. Fortune aside, what we accomplished today is no small feat. If the fortune was to be found, we'd have stumbled upon it during our investigation. It seems Betu has brought us something.
golden goblet. So the dog has se se sense of smell, and it can it can smell the gold. That'll teach them not to cross us. I can't believe it. Is this Lady Weatherly's missing fortune? Let us investigate. If you're only reading this letter, better trust that you with our hidden fortune. I had hoped that I'll one day I, I would pass these treasures on the mansion Uriel. But I learned recently that the woman I cared like a daughter betrayed me. And so it became necessary to hide the fortune. She is clearly so hungry to acquire. Okay. Lady Weatherly must have left that note before her death. We should show it to Aquilia. did for you. I don't owe you an explanation, Aquilia. The murderer has been apprehended and will... Otho did his best to explain your findings. But is it really true? Helena is to blame for this nightmare? I thought she was acting strangely. But I blamed it on the grief. I would never have expected her to be capable of all this. And what of... Uriel? What was his role in all this? I knew something was off about him. But to think he also played a role in killing my cousin. Lady Weatherly gave Pelena a comfortable life, looked after her every need. All this death, in the pursuit of an absent fortune. Actually... <laughs> Betu was safeguarding the fortune this whole time? It's a strange request. Leaving the remaining fortune to Betu and her staff? But I wouldn't dare go against my aunt's wishes. How sweet. Lord Betu of Weatherly. <laughs> you have got to be joking. The dog. I can't believe it. There must be some mistake. There's no mistake, Otho. I will help oversee the transfer of ownership. You and Betu will have all your needs seen to. Excellent work, my friend. Let us speak. Many lives were lost, despite our best efforts. There is certainly joy to be found in our success, but... This one will spend many a night wondering if there was more that could be done. Perhaps he is not as good an investigator as he thought. Do not downplay your role either, friend. You forget. Music was a bumbling mess, chasing a sneeze-inducing beast. Uh, Betu, until you arrived. You deserve a reward for your work. But know that this one is in your debt. Symmetry of the world said. Critical chance, spell damage, weapon and spell damage. 200% status effect chance while your health is above 50. That's 50% healing down while your health is 50% or less. Okay, interesting. Interesting. What is this? That's a hybrid set of all. <laughs> Very interesting set. Music Hope's news of this case strikes fear in the heart of all criminals who think they have gotten away with their crimes. No matter how many years go by, justice is still hunting. And Music will find you in the end. Music will stay for a while as executor of the estate. But he cannot linger long. 
There are crimes that require his attention, and he must hurry before the trail goes cold. Yes, and Mizik could not have done it without you. But resting in the shade of one's success is too long, dulls the claws. <laughs> we will meet again, friend, and criminals will tremble at the thunder of our boots. <laughs> Mizik likes saying that part. <laughs> I've always preferred cats, but you've made a good argument for dogs, Betu. This one thinks Betu likes you. Oh, <laughs> well, you do seem like a very good boy. I'll be sure to order a lifetime supply of steak dinners. Music hopes news of this case. Okay, that was interesting. Not too, not too surprising, but interesting. Uh, cri crime investigation. Mystery, old, old-fashioned mystery. But yeah, let's continue our way tomorrow. We have. Uh, uh, XCOM, Open XCOM, 40k, Pro Sigma, uh, mod uh, in a long play, and since you people like to watch it, sure, I, 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 I can, I can stream it, and maybe, maybe stream a bit, a bit of this as well. So this will be like main game for a couple weeks now. So let's make it so. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to watch more. Please remember my YouTube page. There's lots of shortened versions of the streams there, uh, which you can you can watch at your own time. Anyway, it's getting late. I'm tired. Good night.